I meant on average. I have no idea. November. Can you talk a little bit about Chicago, what you're looking forward to, the potential challenges? Um, I just want to know how to get out. <laughs> That's my main goal. <laughs> What about the, the course in general? Street course is a little different, especially yeah, I don't know low anything down first car. I don't know anything about street racing, so um, I haven't run the course yet, and uh, I'll run it next week and we'll go from there. So I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> awesome. The first time we went to that, like, uh, seeing that, like, they really made it an event. It stood out. I mean, it was, you know, just so different than anything we had done. What does Chicago have to do to kind of follow that lead? Well, I think I think it's going to be a unique event to start with, just because of what it is, and, and you know, there's there's really a lot of unknowns of what's good, what's bad. Um, you know, I think for for me, it's just not something that I've ever done, so I'm not super excited about it. To, to be honest with you, other than it's going to be a great event. Um, you know, I think for for me, it'll be a lot to um, wrap my arms around to, to get going as, as as we get to the, the weekend start. I really thought that the video that you guys did, I don't know who produced it, for Josh Berry was incredible. You narrated and it was touching and emotional, but it had a lot of great words in it. And what that team means beyond just, hey, you're the driver of a, of a car, you get the ride. It was very, very well done. How much of that sticks with you? And I'm sure you got a lot of comments about it. Dale Jr. responded, but it was an incredible video and the wording of it was very, very good. Well, there is a there is a lot more to it than, you know, it's really not about me. I'm just the one that has to answer all the questions and, and do all the all the things outside of the car. Really as you as you go through this, it's important to understand that if you're going to be successful at this, you're going to need a lot of people. And, you know, good times and bad times, you still have to get out of the car and communicate with the team and the people. And, and I just have a, you know, it's a special group of people that, that I've been fortunate to be around because of the fact that um, everybody gets along. Everybody believes in each other. Everybody understands who, who, who does what and who... Who um, you know? There's nobody pointing fingers at each other to say, you know, he did this or he did that. It's okay. What do we need to do? I'm just a. I think it's important to, for Josh to understand, and he does understand how important the people are. And, and stepping into that car, it's important for him to be himself. It's not. It's not my car anymore. It's you know, it's going to be his car, and, and they need to develop their system. And, and but I think starting with the with the foundation of. Rodney and, and Josh having the belief in each other is, is something that we'll, we'll start right off the bat. So, you know, I think it's uh, we have a unique culture at, at Stuart Haas Racing and, and we have a unique team uh, with the four team that, that just has a special, special um, bond be between each other. And, and that's really what's made it s successful. But even though it's not about you, the expectations seem to be expectations you set that carry on. Your expectations for that team kind of carry on, and that's what I saw in the video. Yes, and those guys will have the same expectations, and they will work to figure it out. And, and Josh has those same expectations. He, he he is a perfect fit for that car because his expectations are exactly what 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 theirs will be, and that's to figure out how to win and figure out how to be competitive week in and week out. So that's why. You know, I think all the way through the process, so that's why you know, myself and Rodney pushed so hard um, for Josh and, and trying to, there was never anybody that was really close to saying, okay, well, this might be, this might be a good pick too. Um, it was always just, well, that's Josh. Yeah, I don't think that one's close. So it just takes a, it'll, it takes a, you can put the best driver with the best crew chief, and if they don't get along and they don't believe in each other, it's never going to work. So um, those guys, they know each other. Uh, they have the same background. And you know, Josh is a little older, a little mature, a little more mature, and, and I think they're going to do great. Kevin, when the Internet went down at St. Louis during the race, how did that affect the race for you and your team? How did that change the way? didn't affect me at all. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> I heard him talk about their notepad and that was about it. Okay. The reason I say that is because some said that, you know, they didn't have 
the, they could drive the race the way they wanted to drive the race because somebody wasn't telling them. I do that them. anyway. You did that anyway. Kevin, back to Chicago. <clears throat> Could this guy's figured out that I don't like. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like not to talk about, about Chicago. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. How big though could this moment be for the sport to elevate it? It's you already know. a big moment. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, it's already it's already a it's already a big moment um, just because we're doing it and being able to, to go there and, and do that uh, doesn't matter if I want to drive on a street course or like driving on a street course or haven't driven on a street course or whatever I like to do. The event the event is unique and good already. So it doesn't matter if we go out and put on a good race or a great race, it, it's going to be a great event before we even get started. So the hard part is what do you do in year two? <laughs> you've, you've, been, you've, been, uh, you've been great at, or you ran pretty well at Nashville the last two years. Obviously the goal is to win every week, but given that there's not many tracks you haven't won at before, would a win, say, win here be a little bit more satisfying given that it's one of the few things to check off? Not really. Okay. You know, at this point it's... <laughs> Um, a, win's a win would be good anywhere, and you know our guys have done good at putting great cards on the track this year, and we ran well here last year. We had a good practice today, so um, I'm beyond the point of worrying about what would be more special than the others. So okay. at this point, they're just you know they're they're races that we want to we want to try to win them all. So that's not possible, but if we win one, we'll take that wherever it is. All right, thank you. Vision. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.